we know that discrimination and disparities in the housing markets have been some of the most pervasive and damaging forms of structural racism in the United States. And some of the statistics are just startling. In 2016, 55% of African American renters spent more than 30% on housing. Uh, and that's a proportion that crowds out other necessities. Can you talk a little bit about what this means in terms of long-term opportunity and the ability to build wealth and equity? We're not going to be able to uh, have uh, um, a, a equal society in every way possible uh, until we figure out ways in which we can uh, provide a decent way of living for renters. Uh, we need to understand that um, when you, if you are a long-term renter, uh, it probably means that you're not going to be able to give uh, any kind of uh, economic uh, advantage to your children. Yeah. Uh, a home ownership would, would, is some way of transferring generational wealth. We lived in, in a shack. Uh, I have a picture of it hanging on my wall in, in, in Washington with no running water, no electricity until I was six years old. Uh, I was born about 26 miles from, from uh, the Omni Hotel in downtown Dallas. And so my, we, we then moved into public housing when, 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 we, when the unit was available. So I had my mother, my father, uh, and uh, my three sisters and me and, and a public housing unit. But when we were renting, and this is going to be hard for people to believe, I, I, I understand this, uh, we were paying $20 a month uh, at, to, to the person who owned the, sh the shack. Now remember, I said there's no, there's no indoor plumbing, there's no electricity, uh, and we had to go outside to get to turn the water faucet on, uh, and we were paying $20 a month. Uh, and so uh, for, for people who, um, uh, who don't support public housing, uh, uh, they, they need to realize that when you're renting, if it's, if it's a, a, a minuscule amount of money, that means the place you're living in is just a little bit above a, a, a rat and right. rope, um, you know, a, a, a national park. And then along comes this pandemic. And now we have millions on the verge of eviction. And we know that the House uh, Democratic Caucus passed the HEROES Act back in May. Um, but here we are, and we are not seeing that package get taken up. We are set, see, witnessing the end of serious negotiations with the um, administration and with Mitch McConnell. So how, how do you describe it home uh, and, and to your constituents, you know, how, how the urgency of this issue is being met in Washington, D.C.? Well, I don't think it's an exaggeration for, for us to say that um, we are already in a, in a, uh, a recession. Uh, it is a pandemic uh, caused recession. And because we were successful in getting money to give out to, 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 the, to the American public, we've been able to hold off on a lot of the pain uh, that uh, a recession would bring. So it's been a recession with uh, an absence of the, the optimum pain. Uh, if, we, uh, uh, if we fail to get a package approved uh, and quickly, what we're going to find is that poor people first uh, are going to end up being put out on the streets. And the reason is, We've asked landlords uh, to hold up, and, and, uh, and we've been able to, to get a pretty good support around, for that all around the country. With, you know, with, for, without, uh, you know, don't put people out just because they're three or four months behind. Uh, you know, and then we've been helping landlords uh, remain whole. Uh, but now there's nothing uh, to keep a landlord from saying, hey, you got to get out. Uh, the reason is, I mean, the, uh, the, the tenants don't have any money, the landlord doesn't have any money. He's got to find somebody with money. I'm sorry, you got to go. So we're going to contribute to the homeless population. Uh, I think we're going to contribute to uh, criminal activity. 
uh, I, I, there's nothing good coming from this. And right now, Mitch McConnell, the uh, pr leader of the, the Republican Senate, um, doesn't want to give this uh, to the, the passage of this legislation to Democrats. And he's not going to be able to pass the legislation unless Democrats vote, unless he brings it to a vote, because there are about 20 Republicans who will not vote for it. That's uh, right. you know, even if Moses brought it yeah. in the form of the Ten Commandments. 